Hello everyone and welcome. This is David A. Cox with PC Classes Online and today in this short tutorial video, I'm going to walk you through how to navigate our brand new website. I'm going to show you how to attend one of our live classes and answer a bunch of the common questions we do tend to receive from our fans. Let's start right off with answering the top two questions. Despite the fact that the name is PC Classes Online, we do primarily focus on teaching classes that run on Apple products, being the Mac, iPhone, iPad, and the Apple Watch. We also have some tutorials coming out very soon on Apple TV. So if you are an Apple fan, if you're an Apple owner, or a soon-to-be Apple owner, this is the place for you. Now, if you are a Windows user, don't hang up just yet, or don't stop the video. We do have a lot of videos on Windows, as well as a lot of pieces of software that run on both Mac and Windows platforms. So we have stuff for everyone. We are also looking to add more Windows classes in the near future. Let's get started. Let's go over how to navigate this brand new website. Right up here at the top, you see we have these beautiful tiles. These represent the most recent classes we have taught. So the website is constantly changing as we add more classes. Typically, we add new classes on Wednesdays and Saturday, but that is not always the case. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see we have some playlists here, some very popular playlists. So if you are a uh, iPhone owner, you can check out our most recent iPhone classes in this list here. If you're a Mac owner, you can check out our most recent Apple classes right here. If we scroll down a little bit more, here you'll find our most popular classes, and we do update this list pretty often. We have our Mac Essentials classes and tech for small businesses. Now we have some other stuff here on the right hand side that I'll go over in a little bit. So let's say you are checking out this hooks for iPhone great little app and you want to take it. All you have to do is click on the image and then on the next page you'll see we have the universal play button right here in the middle. Just click it and it will start to play. Push notifications. I'm going to pause it right there. Now, two of the things I tend to recommend that people do when they actually reach the video is, first of all, you'll see this little settings gear icon. If you click on that, that will give you the ability to adjust the quality because a lot of times it will downgrade to the lowest quality video. So just click here where it says auto, and you might want to consider bringing it up to 1080p for a full HD experience. The other thing you can do at this point is click this little icon right here. That is the universal symbol for full screen. So if we click on it, boom, it takes up the entire screen. Anytime you want to get out of full screen, just tap the escape key on your keyboard. For most of you, that's going to be at the very top left-hand side. Now, sometimes in our videos, in our classes, we tend to mention links to products or other websites, apps, that kind of thing. We always put the links to those products just beneath the video. And I always try to recommend to people to use these hyperlinks. Here's the reason why. For example, there was a class I taught a while back ago on a piece of software that I do recommend for most Mac users called VLC. The problem is that if you Google VLC, most of the content that you will see listed is actually malware. Uh, so you want to try to use the links that we provide because we have checked them out, we know them to be valid, and we know that you are actually downloading the product that we are teaching. Let's go back to the homepage here and I want to show you a few other things. I want to talk about the navigation menu that you see right up here at the very top. So anytime you want to get back to the home page, you can just click on this button here. Now let's say you want to really just isolate it to classes that deal with the Mac. Well, if you hover over where it says Mac and Windows, you get this drop down menu. You'll see a featured class. Sometimes this is a random video, other times it is featured. You'll see recent videos within these two categories, or you can click for example, right here to break it down to just Mac videos. The same is true here under, iPhone, uh, under phones and tablets. We have iPhone, Android, and iPad classes here. One little quick note about Android. The reason why we don't have so many Android classes is because Android does not give us a way to mirror their products so that we can teach them. We have to basically hook up a video camera to a phone and just videotape it, whereas with every other Apple product, we can mirror it wirelessly to a computer, which is then recorded in high definition and is easy for us to stream to our teaching software. Let's go over gadget reviews. Uh, this is a great way to find out uh, about quality products. A lot of the products that you will see that are in the store actually also have reviews here. And in many cases, we'll teach you how to set them up if they require a setup. Next, we have software. This is what we consider for software that runs on a computer, not 
apps. If you have an app that you want to learn about, that's going to be located here under Phones and Tablets. We have my blog. I have a monthly blog that comes out. Uh, there's no set date. For example, right now when I'm recording this, it is March of 2015. I just came out with my March blog right here. And the video blog is usually only a few minutes long, and it contains any important updates and changes that you might expect and any new programs we might be starting. Then we have the store. The store is one of the biggest changes from the old version of our website. In the past, if you went to the store and tried to purchase anything, if you lived outside of the United States, it basically didn't work because the problem is that you're now paying international shipping. In the new web store, it will detect your IP address and redirect you to where you can buy the product. We know that this works in a lot of the major countries. We know it works in the United States, in Canada, in the UK, and most of Europe. Uh, there are some other countries we don't know yet if it will actually work, but worst case, you can get the name of the product. Quick note about buying through our store. Most of the products that you see here are actually listed on Amazon, and through clicking our links, you are going to be brought to Amazon. Even though you're going from us to Amazon, we get credit for the sale. It does not cost you anything more than if you had gone to Amazon manually and typed in the name of the product. The difference is if you purchase through our store, Amazon will donate approximately 4% of the sale to benefit PC classes online. One other little thing I do like to mention, a great way that you can help us continue to offer this as a free service. This little piece of blue text that you see right here is a link to a blog article that I wrote a while back that shows you how to modify Amazon so that when you shop on Amazon, they will donate 4% of every product to PC classes online. It's not every product, but it's almost every product. So uh, very uh, much appreciate it if all of you read this article. You can also find the same information here in this little tab that says how to support PCO. Now let's go back to the homepage and go over just a few other little things. If you do want to learn a little bit about our history or about me, you can check out our About Us page. You can see that right here. How to support PCO. I already mentioned about using Amazon. There is another way. So in order for us to maintain this service and keep it free, costs us literally thousands of dollars every single month between licensing fees, software fees, hardware fees, legal fees, etc. It adds up a lot faster than you might think. We ask our members to consider making a donation of approximately $20 a year. That is a request. If you can't afford it, that's okay. We do this to help everyone. One of the best parts of my job is getting to read letters from people who live in countries where $20 is a lot of money. And they say, I can't financially support you, but I really appreciate what you're doing. That means more to me than money. And I'm not just saying that. And as you get to know me through our classes, you'll learn how true that actually is. So if you are willing twice a year, once a year, whatever you can to give a small donation, you can find the information on how to do so right through here. Now, the other part of PC Classes Online, of course, is our live classes. And not to repeat myself, but yes, they are also free. There's no additional charge for this. Uh, we update this uh, page of the website every single month, and we are trying to always introduce new class topics. And usually at the end of every class, I tend to ask everyone if they have any requests for future topics, so we can always keep it fresh. Now, here you'll see we have uh, two upcoming classes. I actually have more that I have just yet to upload. Don't worry. We usually have about four classes a month or so um, that are listed at different times. Please note the time zone. We are located in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, so we are in the eastern time zone, which is minus five hours GMT. Now, if you have trouble doing the conversion in your head, I want to give you an easy way to do it. So let's, for example, click on this Wednesday class on, actually, that already happened. So let's do this class on how to self-publish a book. Now, you'll notice that when you are brought to the registration page, you have this little piece of text right here. It says, show in my time zone. So if you don't live in the same general area where we are, you can click this and it will automatically convert it. That way you know exactly what time to attend the class. All you have to do is fill out this little form right here, type in your name, your email address, and click the little register button. At this point, you're going to be automatically emailed a confirmation. From that confirmation is how you join the class. So let's do that right now.
This is an example of what a confirmation email will look like. It'll have your name on it and say, thank you for registering. And this is the hyperlink you will need to click on your computer at the time of the class. If it's your very first class, we do tend to recommend arriving between 15 to 20 minutes early just to make sure that you have no problems with registering. In order to attend our live classes, you need to have the GoToMeeting software on your computer. Beneath where you saw this video, there will be a button that says click here to download GoToMeeting. This works on both Mac and Windows. When you've downloaded it, it will go into your downloads folder. Simply double click on it and it will start the installation process. Eventually, it will ask you for a username and password. Once you see this, click cancel. It doesn't matter, it's on your computer and that's all that needs to happen. And now for future classes, all you have to do is register and then click the link when it's at the time of the class. Before we go, just a few more short items. So if you scroll down on the homepage, you're gonna to come to this little section right here on the right hand side where you can enter to win a brand new Apple Watch and you can also sign up for our newsletter. I grew PC Classes Online completely organically. Yes, I made a little reality TV appearance here and there, but for the most part, we never actually paid any money for advertising. One of the ways that we like people to help us grow is through word of mouth, and this gives you an easy way to do so and potentially win an Apple Watch. When you click on this link, it'll give you all of the information, but basically, we will give you a special hyperlink to our website. And if you share that link with your friends, whether through social media or through email, if they join PC Classes Online, meaning signing up also for the newsletter, you will have a chance to win an Apple Watch. Every month, the person who tells the most friends wins a brand new Apple Watch, the sports model. No, not the $10,000 gold edition. The other thing you can do, I want to mention, is of course sign up for the newsletter. Here's how that works. We put out a newsletter usually once a month, so don't worry, we are not going to be the people who bug you five times a day. We put out usually one email a month, occasionally twice, especially around the holidays. Uh, those newsletters contain information like major changes to the website, any changes to the class schedule, but also any major threats that people should be aware of so that they can avoid them, like if a new virus comes out or if there's some sort of malicious internet hoax going around. So that's where you can find all the good information, and none of your information is sold to any third-party companies of any kind. We're very, very serious about privacy. One of the common questions we receive all the time is, do we offer tech support? And the short answer is, no, we don't. PC Classes Online has a total staff of four people. We work really, really hard to do a good job, but with over 200,000 members as of the date that this video is being recorded, we simply can't offer that. Finally, I want to tell you about our Supporting Sundays program. We believe in giving back to the world. That's part of the reason why I started this website. So one of the things we do is on Sundays, anytime you watch our classes, we donate 50% of the ad revenue to a different charity organization every single month. We look for charities that have a top rating on charitywatch.org, and we try to be very diverse in what organizations we support. That's all for me, everyone. I hope you enjoy our website. And again, if you enjoy what we do, we really do appreciate it if you consider making a small donation to PC Classes Online once or twice a year. This is David A. Cox, Class Dismissed.